Well, good afternoon, everyone. The essential function of government uh, is to protect the most vulnerable among us, those who do not have a voice. Government's role should be to protect life from the beginning to the end, to protect those who cannot protect themselves, such as the elderly, the unborn, those who are sick, those who have a disability, those who have a mental illness or an addiction. The signing of this bill today is consistent with that respect for life and the imperative to protect those who cannot protect themselves. We have a daunting challenge here. <laughs> <laughs> we have a pen for everyone, I think. Let's see how I can do this. It won't be pretty, but uh, <laughs> wow, that is. Uh, like I said, my writing is not, not very good anyway, but. Uh, <laughs> be patient here. So. <laughs> things take a while. I guess it's not pretty. But. I can't, believe, I can't believe the kids are not uh, saying anything. Oh, you got the, uh, you're doing fine back there. Oh, you're doing well. You're doing well. the date, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> April what? It's today. Eleven. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Y'all Well, this is in a, a really time-honored tradition. The purpose of this bill is really to 
have a vehicle uh, for the United States Supreme Court, uh, so that should it be ready to do so, uh, it could revisit its, some of its prior rulings. Um, taking this action really is in the, kind of a time-honored tradition uh, and constitutional tradition of making a good faith argument for the modification or reversal of existing legal precedent. Uh, so this is exactly what, what, what this is, and the United States Supreme Court will um, ultimately make a decision. Governor, a lot of the opponents um, complain because it has no exception for cases of rape and incest. What do you say to women who find themselves in that situation and they want to terminate a pregnancy? Well, this, this, this is an administration uh, that has, uh, has and will continue. Um, and the budget we have presented to the General Assembly uh, has a great deal of focus on helping uh, pregnant women, uh, making sure that uh, they have every assistance uh, that they need, they have everything in regard to health. Um, so you'll see with the budget that we have presented to the General Assembly and that we hope they will uh, pass, uh, a lot of focus on making sure that women who are in difficult circumstances uh, have the help that, that they need. What do you say to the argument yesterday that knowingly passing a bill to protect those who can't protect themselves. Those words from Governor Mike DeWine as he signed the controversial heartbeat bill into law, making it one of the most strictest here in the country. Now we are going to tune back out now for a full wrap out on a wrap up that is on today's signing and what's next for the newly signed law, including the upcoming potential legal challenges. Tune into our next newscast coming up at 4 p.m. We'll see you then. Plessy versus Ferguson would be an example. Are you concerned about this bill uh, driving away business investment in the state? I'm sorry? Are you concerned about this bill driving away business investment in the state? No. Why not? Because I'm not. I don't think it will. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you know, I, I want to be respectful. I, you know, I, I just, I don't think, I don't think it will. I don't, I don't think we have any evidence of that. Can you talk about the light this puts Ohio into in terms of a national spotlight? Well, this is not the only state uh, that, Ohio is certainly not the first state to, to, to do this. Um, look, we live in a country uh, of great respect for law. And uh, this is, we respect the law and we will respect what the courts uh, decide. Just as those of us who, you know, have felt that some of the previous court decisions um, were not consistent with the Constitution, but uh, we have still followed those. And uh, it is within that spirit uh, that I, I sign this today. Um, we, we, we have followed the law. We will continue to follow the law. The United States Supreme Court will ultimately make a decision in, in this case. But... Um, this, the signing of this bill it is consistent with what uh, my administration, the administration of Mike DeWine and John Houston, uh, has said, said during when we ran for office, uh, is consistent with what we have done. Uh, and I just want to make it very, very clear. Our, our concern is not just for the unborn. Uh, our concern is, is for all individuals. Uh, who are vulnerable, all individuals who need yes. protection. Um, it is our duty, I believe, and it's the essential function of government to protect those who cannot protect themselves, right. to protect those who are voiceless. Mm -hmm. um, that, I think, is an essential historic function of, of government. Governor, you said that uh, obviously Ohio is not the first state to do this. Why not let one of those other states carry the burden and spend the uh, hundreds of thousands of millions it will take to defend this law? Why does Ohio have to do it? Well, we think it's the right thing to do. Right. Yes. Okay. Thank you all very much. Hey.
All right, they're yours. Yeah. <laughs> 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 